uh, one fly, I see all the messages about Amna Muhammad's uh, you know, remarks. And now as we were coming to here, uh, you know, we just heard that the, the UN Secretary General appointed the new person to be lead the, the assessment, the independent assessment. So we are basically carrying with uh, you know daily kind of crisis, honestly. In the absence of structured institutions, individuals are dealing with the situation. We are like dealing as a state, unfortunately. Uh, now I'm, I'm reaching out to your uh, peace practitioners. Um, on the question, I think, yes, we need to continue to support women um, uh, led organizations, youth, men and women. I think the priority would be to provide them with education opportunities. And we discussed last time to see if we could really provide them with scholarship opportunities. We do provide the girls uh, with education across Afghanistan. Uh, now, if any of you would like to really support any girl, teach them English or Austrian language or what, German, whatever language you want to, whatever support you want to give to them, just reach out to us because we have schools across Afghanistan where we teach. Um, that's something that satisfies me personally as well, uh, to, that, to be able to do something. The same with um, Ms. Yaftali, the same with Hoda because she's connected with all these protesters. Um, so I think education is the first. We need to provide education opportunities, especially for girls, but also for boys who are not able to pay their university fees. So if we really, that's the right investment. My worry is if we don't really support on education, in five years' time, we will have a generation of Taiwan who will embrace suicide bombing. You do it online. No, we do it actually in person as well. We do it, we do it online for, for <coughs> English, but there are also in person, like stu our teachers go and students to the centers. So we do it in person as well. So education, for instance, if we could like sponsor, I don't know, 2,000 girls um, to study in uh, Central Asia and America, American University of Central Asia or American University of, I don't know, I, I, one of these neighboring countries in Turkey, for instance, uh, we can explore many opportunities. For boys, we can sponsor them inside Afghanistan, you know, but also provide them um, job opportunities. There are many things that we need to connect to, to because that is where our legacy comes. And to the question, I think one of the questions you raised, we need to really have a one-to-one, -one because obviously I don't think the time and the space is the right space for the questions you raised. But um, on the issue of, um, um, you know, keeping contact with different uh, uh, individuals, etc., uh, to use it for the right momentum we do, especially on our efforts to unite oppositions. This has been a non-stop struggle of us for the last 20, uh, two years, two years, because I think if oppositions are um, invited, uh, united, it will give us also as women, uh, you know, a hope inside Afghanistan. So we are trying to do that. Um, we analyze this at first. We have not been given, honestly, Ali Ahmadjan, the space. Can you believe Taliban had office for 13 years? We, uh, we are is the only place where the opposition can come and, and talk. We women, we do not have a space. We only have virtual meetings, mm -hmm. you know? So, uh, so the world also, also does not help. I'm not blaming. We are to be blamed for most of it because we still believe that we are in Kabul. We have the power. We have the position. We have the, the same mentality. We, we have forgotten that we don't have anything. So we are trying to play our role. Woman-centric narrative of a political dialogue, that's what we try to do. We are trying everything, including naming and shaming of politicians, to bring them together. Obviously, it's not an easy thing because there is a huge uh, distress. On our identity, I think one thing that um, defies our identity, first of all, I'm not a diaspora. I'm a person in exile hoping to go back to my country. I think one thing that actually defines our identity is the legacy we have, all right? Um, we do um, uh, support the younger generation who are getting into... <laughs> Uh, this is what I did all the way. <laughs> we are trying to work with younger generation, but obviously the younger generation will not be able to connect to where they are supposed to connect without the second layer of the society, the, the generation before them. That's what Buddha just said. Um, so our legacy inside of Afghanistan, our connections, our support of people still is what defines our, our identity. I don't feel that I have lost identity. I just feel that I'm here temporarily. Hopefully we'll go back to my country. Thank you very much. I think 